will just make your knees want to scream. Please don't take me outside walking anymore. So I want to give you a new strategy for going downhill. So you're going to stand on your right foot with your left foot out there. How do you get down now? What are your options? Well, you can fall. Not recommended. Uh, you can bend this knee. Right? So this would be like an all-knee version of lowering you downhill. If I had you do 100 of these, how do you think you'd feel? Well, what if you decided to hike something because it's beautiful and your family was going and you get to the top and all you have are 2,000 of these? You're not going to go. Go ahead and switch sides. I want you to, <laughs> we're not going to do 2,000 of those. But I want you to feel what it's like to really only use your knees. So you're up here and you're going to come down all knee all the time. I've had people who've broken a leg and who are about to use this next strategy who were able to get down because they had a way that didn't pass through their knee. So I'll show you what that is. So you see this is all knee, all knee, lots of tension. So go back to that first leg. We're gonna bring in an old friend. Put your hands on your pelvis because look how much your pelvis can lower you down. If you point your toe, it'll get you to the floor faster. And when you go on downstairs, you always kind of reach your toes first. Can you lower your hips? I haven't done anything with my knee, but you see how you can get your toes to the floor? So can you pull down and up using only your pelvic listing muscles? So this was when we were going across on the strap stretch. And this is when we we're going straight. So we want to make sure we have a flat foot and a straight leg so I can use the outside of my hip. You feel that in there? Yeah. So you can actually go downhill and not have to use your knees very much at all. Okay, go ahead and switch sides. If you ever walk behind a horse, you'll see that a horse slaloms its weight. Because when you're going downhill, go ahead and point your toe and just list your way down. When you're going downhill, your tendency is to go faster. Gravity's pulling you down. So if you can kind of take your center of mass, which is in your pelvis, and move it side to side as you go down, it takes the breaking need off of your knees and patella so they're not pulling back, resisting you tumble down. So you're kind of, by adding this list, you kind of take your weight and you direct it back and forth just like a downhill skier. All right. So of course, you're not gonna take your stairs all knees or all hips. You wanna do a combination of them both. Go ahead and switch. So you'll come up. And you're gonna take your hip as far as you can go and then take your knee just a little bit, right? And do that a few times. So you're pairing the two of them together. So now downhill is a little knee and a little hip. You can take the stairs using all of that lateral hip strength. Go ahead and try the other side. You come out in front and you can do a little bit of hip and a little bit of knee but not a ton of either. And of course, the steeper you are walking, the more hip you get a chance to use. All right. Now that you're stronger on the stairs, let's get you carrying stuff while you take them. <laughs> 